Hello and welcome to my channel. I plan to record my journey towards fire, financial independence, and retire early in this channel. Currently, I mainly focus on sharing my Canadian dividend stock investment journey and those stocks in my portfolio. This is the way that let money works for you and generate more money. In the future, I will also add contents introducing products that saves you money. So if you are interested in these topics, hit the like button to let me know. Subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification to get the latest update. And now, Let's get started. Today, the company we are looking at is Telus, one of the biggest telecommunication companies in Canada. It is also an oligopoly. An oligopoly is a market structure in which a small number of firms has the large majority of market share. And Telus is a very typical oligopoly because Telus, Rogers Communication, and Bell, these three telecommunication companies actually control approximately 90% of the entire Canadian market. This is a bad thing for us as customers because that means there is not enough competition in this field and we need to pay a lot of money for our phone plans. However, as an investor, this is not a bad thing because that means this company you invested in has a dominating market and it will be quite stable and steady. In their last year's annual report, Telus achieved 5.5% growth in its revenue and other income in 2020, and it also has a 50% increase in its free cash flow, and that is a great increase because we always want a company to have a lot of free cash flow, and Telus can increase their cash flow over 50% in one year. For me, that is a very impressive achievement. And if we look at the share price of Telus, we can find that in the long term, the share price of Telus is actually steady and slowly growing. And it also currently pays a pretty nice 4.5% dividend yield, that is pretty high. And in May 2019, Telus actually announced its intention to target ongoing semi-annual dividend increases, with the annual increase in a range of 7 to 10% from 2020 through to the end of 2022. This is also great news for us dividend investors because not only as of now, Telus is paying a nice dividend, but we also know that it has the intention to keep increasing its dividend 7 to 10% every year until 2022. As of today, the share price of Telus is $28.11 per share. The market cap of Telus is over 38 billion, a really huge number. The beta value of Telus is 0.55, which is lower than 1, meaning that Telus is a relatively less volatile stock. The PE ratio of Telus is 30.68, higher than 20, and it's also higher than its 5 year average, so this could be some concern. The dividend yield of Telus is 4.5%, meaning that you will get $1.26 per share per year as dividend. And Telus is a quarterly dividend. The fair value of Telus is calculated to be around $79 per share, which is much higher than its current price, meaning that currently from the fair value perspective, Telus is undervalued, and it's undervalued more than 20%. Currently, in my portfolio, I hold 29 shares of Telus with a total value of $815.19. My average buying price is $26.33 per share, and Telus takes up around 3.68% of my entire portfolio. My ultimate return on Telus is around 7% up, meaning that I have gained around $52 since I started investing in Telus. To sum up, I do think Telus or the big telecompanies in Canada is something you need to consider if you are interested in dividend stocks because they are quite steady. They are already a huge company acting as a legal poly dominating the entire market and they all offer you a pretty nice dividend yield. Telus offers you 4.5% dividend yield and they intend to keep increasing their dividends 7 to 10% every year until 2022. So that is good news for us dividend investors. Also, if you look at the long term, the stock price of Telus is also slowly but steadily increasing, 
which means we not only get the great dividends, but we can also enjoy the increase of the share price of Talos. So what do you think about Talos? Do you already hold Talos in your portfolio? Leave a comment to let me know. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoy the content, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel. If you are looking for zero commission fee investing platform, I recommend you Wealthsimple Trade. If you are looking for instant money transfer between friends, then Wealthsimple Cash will be the right platform for you. Need a high interest, no fee saving account? Have a look at eCuba. It offers higher interest than any of the big file banks and has no banking fee. Additionally, if you are looking for great credit cards, I recommend Brim World Allied Mastercard and Neo Card. I personally use them and enjoy the cashbacks they have to offer. More details about these cards can be found in my channel. And if you use my referral links in the description, you will get referral bonus for having these great products. Thanks again for watching my video, and I'll see you in my next video.